Hi everyone, and welcome to another video. Today I'm taking a look at VSL's Synchron Prime Edition, which is an all-in-one orchestral sample library package built from their Synchron series and designed to be lightweight and resource friendly. Uh, if you've been following along with my channel, you'll know that I tend to compose in Dorico, and often I'm using Note Performer, which is fine. It's got a lot of articulations, but the sound leaves a lot to be desired. Um, so what I'm testing today is how Synchron Prime works in Dorico. Um, they've kindly offered up free Dorico expression maps and playback templates. So I've loaded that up and I'm testing out a few of my old pieces. And you may recognize some of them from previous videos. Um, I thought it would be great to try out different articulations, different types of writing, uh, first with strings, then brass, then woodwinds, and then the full orchestra. So here we go, let's test this out. All right, so I think we're gonna start with this piece that I wrote uh, a while back and I've expanded on it just a bit. It's actually from the Piano to Strings video from, I don't know, a couple years ago, I think. And um, I've, I spliced together a few different versions into one piece. And so what I'm checking for in this uh, test is to see how it plays legatos in strings and as well as dynamics, crescendos, and just the overall mix. Um, so let's just play through and see how it sounds. Okay, so first impressions, I think that sounds really nice. Uh, it's a lovely string bowed sound and much better than anything that I've heard in Dorico before. Um, so yeah, this right off the bat, this is really, really lovely. Um, I noticed that it doesn't, it's not gonna do some things that I want it to do. And that's partly Dorico's fault, but um, so anytime I have Devisi like this, you know, ideally you would have some sort of um, volume adjustment to compensate for fewer players on any note. It's not going to do that automatically, so I'd have to go into the MIDI data and do that manually, which is possible in Dorico. Um, that's one of the things I love about Dorico, actually, is you it's basically a DAW uh, already. So yeah, that's the only sort of mixing issue I noticed in this, which that's really awesome. That it sounds so good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, all right, so let's check out this pizzicato. Uh, this is also, I think, from the Piano to Strings video I did a long time ago. Uh, and I believe it was just, you know, a small portion. And I expanded this uh, a few days ago. All right, overall thoughts here. Uh, the pizzicato, in my opinion, sounds really nice. Um, 
sounds so much better than Note Performer's Pizzicato. Uh, and I'm not bashing on Note Performer. I really like Note Performer a lot. So yeah, I think this works pretty well. Let's move on. All right, so in this example, uh, this is not from an old video of mine. I specifically wrote this very quickly yesterday just so I could hear an example with short articulations and strings and some fast bowings. So that's basically what you get here. Uh, let's test it out. Yeah, so, okay, um, the short articulations, the sort of spiccato sound um, works really well for the quick uh, music. Um, it's almost got kind of a saltando or sautier sound to it, which is really perfect for this kind of music. Um, the fast string runs, uh, you know, I think for being programmed in, uh, through Dorico, oh, they sound pretty good. A little synthetic, but that's to be expected. All right, next up, brass. I found this example from my piano to brass video from a while back. Um, I think it was just the last four measures. So yesterday I expanded that, and uh, I'm showing off here different combinations of brass instruments. So we'll start with trumpets and trombones, then horns and trombones, uh, then low brass and trumpets, and then the full brass section. Really, here I'm looking for how do the smaller brass uh, combinations work? Balance, how do they blend? Um, how do the swells and crescendos sound? Um, and just overall the legatos and um, sustains. So let's give this a listen. Okay, so yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Um, for some reason, I felt that some of the balance was a little off, and I've listened on a few different headphones, um, and each time I felt that the horns were maybe a little stronger than trombones for whatever reason. Um, and, you know, at forte, trombones should be pretty loud, and I'm just not getting as much as I, I wanted. Um, and then same with trumpets. There's something weird where I feel like the second trumpet is louder than the first. Um, now, the way it works in this library, uh, there are two of each brass instrument. Well, two trumpets, two horns, uh, two tr tenor trombones. Um, so then if you have in your template a third of any of those, it'll just load up the first trumpet again. So um, these are separate sample collection so trumpet one and trumpet two and i you know looked at the settings here um all of these are the same for both trumpet one and trumpet two just seems for whatever reason trumpet two is louder i don't know um anyway i think overall though it sounds really good uh, here's an example from my piano to brass video again this one's showing off a lot softer sound a romantic style horn solo um, with horns and low brass accompanying. Yeah, um, again, I think if you were to use this 
in sort of, uh, you know, to share the audio from this in any sort of professional way, um, you would really have to do some volume adjustment on your own. I can't just have this be piano and these all be piano as well. And, um, you know, expect to hear the, the soloist come out a little bit more than I, than I want. Um, so you'd want to make these maybe all pianissimo, maybe bump this up a little bit and, um, you could get, I think a solid mix there. Uh, the horn solo with a legato sounds really nice, I think. Okay. Move on. Um, this one again from my piano to brass video, this is showing off uh, faster, short articulations in a fanfare texture. So let's give this a listen. That final note sounds kind of funny. Yeah, so, um, you know, I think pretty good. I think the mix seems a little dark maybe to me, um, but, you know, pretty happy with that. Um, all right, let's move on to woodwinds. So this is an example from my Piano to Winds video from a ways back as well. And I think it was just these first four measures. Um, so yesterday I just composed a few more measures. Yeah, see how it sounds. I do think overall it sounds really nice. Uh, the legato sounds really nice. And the balance may be skewed a little bit towards oboes for whatever reason. Um, I kind of wanted to bring out more of this clarinet part. And like the brass and probably strings, you might have to adjust dynamics in the score to uh, get what you want. So I probably would bring this out to forte in the clarinet part here and then figure out how to maybe back off some of the sustained notes in oboes. Um, just because for whatever reason, some of these notes, um, you know, were coming out a little bit more than I wanted them to, which is fine. It's, you know, not like this is a unique problem for VSL. So um, sounds pretty good. All right, so next up, this one is from my composing woodwind runs like John Williams video. Um, so. Obviously, this test is going to be to see how the woodwind runs, uh, fast legato articulations uh, sound in Dorico. Um, so yeah, let's give it a listen. pretty good um i would say the legato sound like anytime it triggers a legato articulation the volume is a little bit lower uh they i guess they you know like a lot of libraries um when you use the legato articulations they don't have like a true fortissimo sound or forte even sometimes um so there is a bit of a disconnect between the legato uh, dynamic and the staccato dynamic so that's why you get um, like right here, you notice it very clearly how this is one dynamic and then this measure is significantly louder. That's not, a, that's, you know, that's a pretty common sample library issue. Um, so again, you'd have to make the adjustment in the score um, or in Dorico's CC data. All right, so moving on this one. Um, I'm not sure where I grabbed this this example from. I think it was a uh, orchestral tools uh, video, and I showcasing the woodwind microphone options. Um, but I liked this one enough that I expanded on it. So uh, this one will test again some balance things, uh, a bit of everything, some short notes, some legatos, just balance across the woodwind section. Uh, let's give this a listen.
Okay, so uh, yeah, it sounds pretty good. Like everything so far, it sounds really good. All right, so we've got two more examples. These are both full orchestral examples. Um, this one I think was from a video I did on expanding like a three measure idea or something. And yeah, let's give it a listen. Um, I can't show the full screen, obviously, or the full orchestra, obviously, it's just too many instruments. Um, so I'll, I'll show, but I show strings. All right, so, you know, I think that sounds really good um, for not having done any work in the mix. Um, you know, I you, what you're hearing is straight out of Dorico. Um, I, I, yeah, it sounds really good. Um, you know, on occasion, the balance is a little bit weird. Nothing I couldn't correct on my own. Um, the one thing I did have to change, again, anytime there's Devisi in the strings, and specifically if you have Devisi where both Devisi parts are playing legato, it's just not going to play that. Um, so you'd have to go into Dorico and, um, you know, add an additional staff for each Devisi part and then have Dorico, you know, map that to a new instance of Synchron. Uh, okay, one more example. This is from my Piano to Orchestra intro. Uh, I wrote this specifically for that series a while back, and uh, it showcases sort of a more aggressive, uh, fast, uh, short articulations and winds, strings, piano, um, percussion. Um, so yeah, let's give this a listen. Okay, yeah, that's it. Um, general thoughts, uh, you know, I've never heard anything in Dorico that was this easy to use that sounded this good. You know, I, I've got sample libraries that sound better than this, but I've only ever been able to use them in a DAW. Um, and this was so little effort and you get really good results. Somewhat limited on articulations and some issues like I mentioned with the Devisi strings. Um, some oddities in woodwind and brass balance, um, but overall, you know, a really, really amazing library. Um, I think you can get a 30-day demo of this library, um, so check out that on VSL's website. Um, I'm going to do another test of VSL Synchron Prime, and I'm going to mock some orchestral piece up. I'm not sure what yet, um, but I'll do that in the DAW just to show it's 
full capabilities because what we're seeing today here was just how it behaves in Dorico, which um, worked great, but I want to test it out in uh, a DAW where I have full control over everything, the mix, um, you know, CC data, everything like that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.